Hey folks, I'm Alicia from Music Vlog, yeah, and I'd like to welcome you to our interview with Gay 90s. Hey everybody! Hey! Hey! hey. How's hey. Your <laughs> we just played a great show at the Rivoli in Toronto as part of CMW. You. You're welcome. <laughs> so how's your experience here been treating you? Well, we, we haven't we haven't actually slept in a while, which is kind of a thing. We we, we flew in from uh, a show at Venue in Vancouver, and we I, I just sat and I drank some wine, and then we got on a plane, and we haven't slept. And so we're all feeling a little crazy. Yeah. <laughs> you want to show those eyes to the camera? Crazy. A little crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, when you first arrive into a town, what are some things that you guys like to do for fun? Uh, <laughs> aside from sleep, the much needed sleep. Well, well, we'll go and we'll buy some beer, and then we'll find a dingy alleyway to play hacky sack. We played an epic game of hacky sack today. It was incredible. Yeah, it was it nice. It's been so long. I, our manager, Brent. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, our manager, Brent, treated us, welcomed us with two new hacky sacks. Brand so, new hacky sacks. Pretty Best good. Yeah. <laughs> Best manager ever. Just saying. Brent Van. <laughs> Well, being that you're playing CMW, uh, it's, this is also part of your Liberal Guilt Tour across Canada. Yeah. So which songs off of the release are you enjoying playing the most right now? I'm always into in and out of style the most. I just, I dig in and out of style. It's very funky and slinky and fun and kind of like gets everyone moving. Yeah, in and out of style kind of sets the, the sexy pace for the, the set, but turn me on really drives it home. That's my favorite right now. What I would say to elaborate on Bruce's vibe is that Turn Me On is, I think, getting all of us horny, but what's happening right after that is this little tasty new interlude that might be a taste of something to come on the next record. So it, it kind of, it, it sums up what's great about uh, our fun to play on our current record, but alluding to what's coming down the lane. The, the, Back. Darnell, what Alex. about you? Um, I I love playing "Hold Your Fire" the most right now. Um, it's feeling really good. It every time we play it, I think about this the crazy dance video that we just made for this. Song. It was crazy. It was the first experience I've ever had where I was just full on. It was the four of us being super like uncomfortable with this like dance instructor in like a tiny like onesie piece, just like. Okay, move like this, and we're like moving, and like shoot, we did like we did like finger warm ups and stuff. Like it was pretty yeah. incredible. Yeah, it was cool. It was like, uh, <laughs> it was learning how to learning how to move your body in new ways, and and it's a wonderful thing. As part of your set tonight, you actually incorporated a brand new song. It's your first time playing it live. You told the crowd, so just tell us a little bit about this new this new track. Well. Uh, we recently built a studio in our jam space, which is game changer. And so it's kind of made us approach songwriting in a different way. And this was the first one that we like, we're demoing whilst writing. So we'll jam and then we'll start a demo and then we'll go back to jamming and then we'll refine the demo. And it's like, it's kind of changed how we approach songwriting. And so it's really cool to get to see how that works live because we've heard it recorded, we've hit it in the jam space, and now to see how a crowd responds to it. And there was definitely some like, a lot of head nods. They're into yeah. it. Yeah, it, it was. It's it's been working out. Bruce actually said it's his favorite song in the set to play. How much of this new material have you actually been working on? How many songs are in the works? And when can fans expect to hear some some new We've things? We have quite a few songs that have been in the works, and we're just slowly chipping away at it and just just getting getting everything sorted out. But uh, basically, we're hoping to have a full LP by uh, September. So after the summer, yeah. we're hoping to just have a full-on record coming out. Um, it might be a little bit later. It might be more like November, yeah. but we're working hard. That's exciting. I got something to say about the new song. I love playing the new material because it, depending on where you put it in the set with the older material, it, because we're approaching songwriting in a different way now, it breathes life into the set. Uh, and it kind of has a way of letting us look at things differently and yeah everything just kind of feels new and you add something to the mix like that i love it that's great i love if that lady right there she's a <laughs> it flowed into she's the set hunk. perfectly too so hey, thank thanks. you you're welcome Alicia, it means a lot coming from you yeah, why thank it you it actually does 
truthfully. Thank like, you. Uh, <laughs> well, being that we are at Canadian Music Week, I mean, this is the kickoff to tons of Toronto festivals that are coming through this year. So if you could curate your own festival, who would you like to be part of the lineup? Ooh. Immediately, the first thing that came to mind was St. Vincent, that I'd have her open up the festival because she sucks. <laughs> <laughs> we love St. Vincent. I did Vincent. not see that going there. <laughs> Malcolm oh is God. an idiot. No, great. Headline, headline, <laughs> she's wrong about it. <laughs> I would, I would like to play with. Well, I'd like to see the War on Drugs. They're, they're a big influence on me right now. Um, Broody. I would say Spoon. Would be yeah. A yeah. Ooh, Future Islands. Future Islands. Yeah. Uh, Tobias Jesso Jr. I'd like Ooh, to see. Ooh, yeah. He's. Oh. Have you? Are you familiar with Tobias? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. He's so good. Yeah. I know we, he's not really one of our own anymore from Vancouver, but we still claim him like he is. We still love him. Yeah. Take credit. Yeah. Yeah. He's great. Who would you like to be part of it? Um, I would have to say, (laughs) (laughs) yeah, definitely being a Maritimer, uh, Al Doyle, anything from Great Big (laughs) Sea. Cool. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. That's it. Just it would just be actually just them, and and so it'd be a very small festival. Yeah, we wouldn't even play it. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's just a great big sea show. Uh, <laughs> it's just them. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. That'd be great. Mm-hmm. And with summertime quickly approaching, of course, there are tons of shows to come, the festivals that we mentioned. But what do you look forward to the most as a band? What? Oh, I look forward to the free massages at festivals. Ooh. I remember last year at Riot Fest, you were just like, sunbathing, getting a massage. It's you, you the were, best part yeah. of being a musician. <laughs> Is I got like Reiki done to me. I got a hand oh, massage. Oh, yeah, it's incredible. How did you like Reiki? Reiki blew my mind. I was she. I was like lying down and and she didn't even touch me, and I eventually just I just got up and I walked around like I was just so high on life. It was the craziest energy exchange. It's that's, Reiki. That's, that's All cool. you Reiki masters out there. We're coming for you. We're coming for you. Yeah. <laughs> It's beautiful. Do I, us. I love Reiki. <laughs> Do <laughs> us. <laughs> and how about you guys? What are you looking forward to? Uh, aside aside oh. from the nice massage. Uh, free haircuts. That was a pretty nice plus. <laughs> pretty much all We're the so free poor. shit you guys can get. That's <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the swag bags that are full of just garbage. Okay. Like pens and it's stuff. Yeah. Garbage can we're rummaging through. <laughs> swag bag. Yeah. Yeah. We're not even playing festivals. We're just dumpster diving. <laughs> These swag bags are great. <laughs> 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 Something I have loved catching at your live shows is I know that you are slowly developing a trademark move. So I was just wondering if you could share this. I did that, I did that for you. Yep. Out there and for you. Yeah. Are we talking about the global tea bag? Totally. So <laughs> can you just expand on that and tell tell our uh, viewers what to expect when they see it live and how you came up with this? Okay, Malcolm, be a microphone stand. You're the combination of everything I've never had. Let's go back, Brian. I just wanted a kiss. And how did you come up with that? Where did this whole thing begin? Um, it happened at the cultural exchange with the wet secrets with, with our friends the wet secrets <laughs> at the cultural exchange in Regina the happiest place on earth um, <laughs> and um, there was um, apart from the band that we are touring with there was a mother and her toddler at the show and I think we were stepping up Malcolm got toilet papered Mummified, he got TP'd, you got mummified. Full on mummified. I forgot about that. And I just, I said, fuck it, I'm going for the global tea bag, and I just did it, and it worked, and I do it. And all the time there was now. there was another show later on where, where where Lyle from the Wet Secrets tried to do a global tea bag, and he went the wrong way. He got like tangled up in the mic. <laughs> It was it was like near strangulation. It it was dangerous. It's not as easy as it looks. Daniel's just a smooth operator. 
And do you have a favorite move on stage? Because, I mean, tonight you were really playing to the crowd. I mean, I loved when you guys just broke it down and you just rubbed the tank top on your uh, face. Yeah. That was new. I've that, never... That, I've was, never that was a new sure. one. The, the, the tank top rub on the face and then throw into the crowd. Yeah. That was new. I was just testing it out. I've been practicing it at home quite a bit, and uh, I think it worked out. A lot of people wanted it. I've, I've, nobody dropped it. <laughs> that's, that's a good sign. I think I'll ever pass it around to all of you guys eventually and just throw we'll it. We'll all in. sweat on it. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Until first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of gross. You're, yeah. That's, that's that is gross. pretty gross. How dare you? I know, sorry. <laughs> it just, who knows what happens up here. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I think that that wraps everything up for tonight. That's a, enough, First take. I know, enough craziness for we'll fix what's it in happening post. with Gay 90s in Toronto. I just want to say, as always, it is so nice catching up with you guys. One of yeah. our favorites. Love you, Alicia. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's our pleasure. And for everyone at home, remember to visit us at www.amusicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews and features with your favorite bands. We'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye -bye.